Republican Representative Matt Gates from my district here in Florida went on Fox News this past weekend and openly attacked Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell because McConnell had the audacity on Saturday to admit on the Senate floor that he didn't like what Trump did. Now, Mitch McConnell still voted to acquit Donald Trump. Okay. He said, we're not going to hold you responsible for anything you have said or done little buddy. So you can go on and be free. But he did say, I'm not quite happy with what you did. You know, a very, very timid and mild admonishment. Well, apparently Matt Gates, who is deeply, deeply devoted like borderline obsessed with Donald Trump that sent him over the edge. You don't say mean things about Matt Gates, special friend, which is what he thinks Donald Trump is that Donald Trump, as I've said in the past, listen, folks, this is like stalker behavior here. It really and truly is the way Matt Gates is so obsessed with Donald Trump and believes like many stalkers do that Donald Trump loves him back. Let's not forget. What was it? A, a year ago, maybe when Gates voted to limit Trump's uh, authority to strike Iran and Trump wanted nothing to do with Matt Gates after that until Gates like once again, pledged his undying loyalty to him. So Gates has been thrown out by Trump once. He'll be thrown out again when he's not useful anymore. Now <laughs> back to the story. Sorry. Caught chasing rabbits there. So Matt Gates goes on Fox news. He attacks Mitch McConnell saying thusly, he says, frankly, the most dangerous was Senate minority leader, Mitch McConnell, who took to the floor and essentially gave the Biden justice department cover to prosecute the president, his son, even his supporters who didn't engage in any violent conduct on January 6th. Now Gates was specifically asked about the Lincoln project because Fox news is trying to trash the Lincoln project, even though it's the same individuals who they've been bringing on their network for 20 years. Now, suddenly they don't like them. Lincoln project is embroiled in scandal and it kind of makes me feel vindicated because I've been saying since day one, they are not our allies. And I think I've proved that at this point <laughs> or they've proved that. Um, but yeah, so Gates decided to take an extra shot, not just at the Lincoln project, but at Mitch McConnell himself, because as I've repeatedly said, there is no room for dissent in the Republican party. Matt Gates then mentioned that there's other little factions growing in the Republican party of people who don't, or people who he says, quote, want to purge the party of, of Trumpism, you know, normal people who want the crazy people to go away. And Gates is concerned about that because Gates is, is on the wrong side of that. He's not one of the normal people at all. Not even close. Matt Gates would love nothing more than to strike up this fight between him and Mitch McConnell. He would love to emerge as the leader of the Republican party, but I got some bad news from Matt Gates. Yeah. Fox news loves you because you say all the things that they want to hear about how great Republicans are. But the reason Matt Gates is an elected official today is one, because his daddy was a Florida politician and daddy protected him, got him out of legal trouble a couple times. Daddy's influence in the state essentially won him his, uh, congressional seat. And number two, the reason daddy's influence was able to win you that congressional seat is because y'all live in one of the safest Republican districts in the United States, not in the state of Florida, in the United States, a district that has not voted for a Democrat since John F. Kennedy in 1960. So it has been 61 years since this area has voted for a Democrat and Matt Gates acts like his, you know, stuff don't stink because he's won this race three times. Ooh, you could literally put a turd on the ballot in Florida's first district and call it a Republican. And it would beat whatever Democrat you put up against it. And that is effectively what we did with Matt Gates. We put up this giant turd where the Republicans did said, well, here's your turd. And Republicans said, oh, yeah. welcome to Congress. Yeah. I have some hangups about my district here because it's so ass backwards. They continue to vote against their own self-interest. And at this point it is what it is. And you kind of have to take responsibility and say, if you keep electing horrible people, then all the horrible things that happen to you because of that, you got to take ownership of it a little bit. But Matt Gates wouldn't survive politically outside of this district. 
Matt Gates has no staying power. Matt Gates has no like ability beyond the hardcore Republican base. That's why Matt Gates does not frighten me. Matt Gates annoys me because he is from my district. But do I fear Matt Gates attaining a higher political office? God, no. Because based on what we've seen from this guy outside of his district and hell, for the most part in his district, he really just isn't liked enough to truly ever be successful. So he can challenge Mitch McConnell all he wants. Another man who, by the way, is actually hated in his home state by most people. Most people don't even like him. You know what? Think about that too, folks. We have these two idiot Republicans, Gates and McConnell. McConnell doesn't even know he's in a fight with Matt Gates. They're both disliked. They're both representing a party that is disliked by, by, uh, what? 60% of people in this country fighting over who gets to be the leader of this hated party, which hated individual gets to run this hated party for the next couple years. That's what these two morons are fighting about. And again, McConnell probably doesn't even know he's fighting about it because McConnell doesn't care. Cause like I said, he understands what I understand. And that is Matt Gates has no political future outside of his district. He isn't liked enough to win at the state level. He sure as hell isn't like an, uh, liked enough to ever win a presidential primary. So Matt Gates, Mitch McConnell understands, isn't really a threat at all. Just an obnoxious little nuisance that eventually will get replaced by whatever Republican comes after him.